Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of our new series. In our previous video, we have talked about the basic difference between ASMA and COPD. In this video, we will be talking about the cross question you will be asked in ASMA and COPD. As we have already told that almost everybody, every student will be given ASMA and COPD or they will have to face ASMA and COPD at least once during their this medical life. And in practical life also, the asthma and COPD is very much important in our, in the context of our country. So we need to know in details about asthma and COPD. And in our previous video, we have only told about the basic differences, but there are other things you need to know. And in this video, I'll be talking about the other things the teacher asks in the exams. Now, when you present a, the history in a long case, the first thing most of the teacher ask, what are your differentials? In case of COPD, the differentials would be bronchial asthma, tuberculosis and lung cancer. Why bronchial asthma? We have already told. In case of asthma and COPD, their sign symptoms are almost similar. That's why we have kept bronchial asthma as our differentials. Why tuberculosis? Because also in tuberculosis, the patient will be suffering from weight loss and the patient will also have cough with sputum for a long time. But how will you differentiate between tuberculosis and COPD? In COPD, the classical sign symptoms of tuberculosis, that is the evening rise of temperature, low grade fever and night sweats will not be present. How lung cancer? Because also in lung cancer, the patient is elderly, the patient has a long term history of smoking cigarettes and the patient will have breathlessness. That's why I have kept lung cancer as a differential. We have already told that the patients suffering from COPD are a long term smokers. And while presenting a case, we present smoker in terms of pack year. Now, what is a pack year? Pack year is the number of pack of cigarettes consumed by the patient per day into the number of years the patient has been smoking. That means how many cigarettes or how many packs of cigarettes the patient has been smoking for how many number of years is the pack year. If we give an example, suppose a patient smokes 10 cigarettes for 40 years. Let me write 10 cigarettes for 40 years. So how many pack years? But you have to know one simple thing. In one pack, there are 20 sticks of cigarettes. So in this case, the patient is consuming 10 cigarettes. That means 10 by 20. So the patient is having half pack of cigarette per day for 40 years. So his pack year would be 20 pack years. Now in COPD, most of the time, the teacher asks, what are the diseases are included in COPD? Your answer would be chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Now, what is chronic bronchitis? Chronic bronchitis is if the patient is having cough, cough with sputum for almost every day for three consecutive months for two successive years. That means if a patient is suffering is if a patient is having cough with sputum for every day for three months and for two consecutive years the patient is diagnosed with chronic bronchitis and what is emphysema emphysema is permanent dilatation of alveoli and destruction of the walls of the alveoli distal to the terminal bronchioles that means the walls of the alveoli are permanently destroyed and that's why the surface area of the lung uh, decreases and air is trapped there so the patient suffers from breathlessness now what are the organism associated with the exacerbation of COPD the answers are Haemophilus influenza and streptococcus pneumonia if a patient is having acute exacerbation of COPD we vaccinate the patient with Haemophilus influenza vaccine now another important question what are the complications of COPD the complications of COPD are pulmonary hypertension, core pulmonary, respiratory failure and in this case type 2 respiratory failure occurs 
and what is the type 2 respiratory failure here the patient will have both hypoxia and hypercapnia but in case of bronchial asthma there is type 1 respiratory failure that is the patient will have only hypoxia secondary infection may occur and the patient may have polycythemia what are the signs of pulmonary hypertension the signs of pulmonary hypertension are low volume pulse increased jvp prominent a wave in jvp palpable p2 epigastric pulsation early diastonic murmur and left parasternal heave now the most important question what is core pulmonary the definition of core pulmonary is right ventricular dilatation or hypertrophy with or without right sided heart failure due to causes of the lung parenchyma pulmonary vasculature or chest wall if we simplify the definition that means any sort of right ventricular dilatation or hypertrophy there may be failure or maybe without failure and it is due to any cause it may be from lung cause or from any chest wall cause or from pulmonary vasculature that means any sort of pulmonary any sort of right ventricular hypertrophy is known as core pulmonary what are the signs of core pulmonary if there is no heart failure then the signs will be similar to pulmonary hypertension but if there is a failure patient then there will be enlarged and pulsatile neck vein the patient will have tender hepatomegaly and the patient will have dependent edema that means the feature of right heart failure and also a frequently asked question what is pink puffer and what is blue blotter pink puffer is the patient is asynosed but dyspneic with lift pursing and in case of blue blotter the patient is cyanosed the patient may have edema and he also may have secondary polycythemia let me show you a picture it will clear your concepts in blue blotter the patient is cyanosed and that's why the patient is blue and here the chronic cough is the main complaint and dyspnea is not that much prominent and the patient will have edema and that's why the patient is uh, his body is swelled but in case of pink puffer the patient is pink because there is no cyanosis and he has partially breathing but in this case the patient will have dyspnea it is the main complaint he his cough is not that much prominent and the patient in most of the cases is lean and thin thank you everyone that's all for today and in our next video we will talk about the cross question you will be asked about asthma and i hope this video helps you guys and if you like our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you